We turn now to Atlanta, where the hospital treating America's first Ebola patient is preparing for a second one to arrive. Everyone there hoping for another encouraging image like the one we all saw yesterday. There he is, Dr. Kent Brantley, climbing down from the ambulance and entering that hospital, not on a stretcher, but on walking on his own two feet. ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is once again at that hospital for us tonight. Tonight, the only Ebola patient ever on American soil waits to see if his body will fight off the deadly virus. Dr. Kent Brantley, in this biocontainment suit, stepped off the ambulance yesterday under his own power, much to everyone's surprise. To see him walk, which hadn't even occurred to me, was just unbelievable. Brantley has also seen and spoken to his wife, using a phone through a plate glass window. In the process of designing this unit, uh, allowed for a lot of face-to-face -face contact through a plate glass window together with a communication system so that they will be as close as one to two inches from each other. Amber Brantley said she came out grinning ear to ear and is very optimistic about his recovery. Tonight, she says he's improving, but he will remain isolated until he's no longer contagious. If the patient walks into our unit and they're stable, most people feel they're contagious for about two to three weeks. The hospital staff here is now getting ready for another Ebola patient, Nancy Wrightball, Brantley's colleague. Just a short time ago, the same plane that brought Brantley back to the U.S. took off on a return trip to Africa. It is expected to bring Wrightball back here to Atlanta on Tuesday. Tonight, we learned Brantley received a dose of experimental antiserum before leaving Liberia. But the outbreak has led to the question, why aren't there approved drugs to treat or vaccines to prevent this deadly disease? There's been progress, but human trials have barely begun. It would be very helpful, especially to protect healthcare workers, but even in the best case, it's a long way away and it's uncertain. When the evacuation plane arrives in Liberia, doctors will need to quickly determine whether Nancy Wrightbowl is stable enough for travel. The hope is that, like Kent Brantley, she can make the trip here to Emory. If so, she could arrive as early as Tuesday. Cecilia?